Hi guys. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Brittany Gordon and I'm a life coach and mindset coach. Um, today we're going to talk about building a million dollar work ethic. Uh, I want to start off with a quote that says, you can't have a million dollar dream with a minimum wage work ethic. This is just right on the money, okay? If people in this world want everything instantly, easily, and they think that they can just, you know, use this three-step plan to become rich or to be rich with no work whatsoever. I mean, all over the internet, it's flooded with easy, you know, schemes and plots and scams. If you want anything major or big or significant in your life, you are going to have to put in work. You're going to have to have that million dollar work ethic if you want that million dollar dream, okay? Um, when we go through this list, just envision your goal, your dream, whatever it is, you can apply these concepts to your own personal dreams and goals, okay? The first um, little tip I have for you is sometimes you're going to have to do things that you don't want to do. You know, I'm, I'm not saying do things that are dangerous, that hurt you or other people, or do things that are fundamentally against your beliefs and values. But you may have to do things that you don't absolutely love, okay? You may have to put in hard work. And when you feel like you want to give up, you have to dig in and keep going. You may not necessarily want to uh, go to school and try to start a business while you're working two other jobs. I know how it is. That's how, how it's been for me. But guess what? If you really want to achieve something, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to do whatever it takes to get you where you need to be, okay? And then once you do all this hard work, you're going to start seeing progress. You're going to get to be in a place where you don't have to do so many things that you don't necessarily want to do, where you have designed a life that you, you know, love. So, uh, you get up every day and you do more things that you want to do, that you're passionate about. But to get there, you you may have to do things you don't want to do. I don't know why people don't get this. I don't know why everybody thinks that they can just, you know, dabble through life and do whatever they want and that all of their dreams and hopes are going to come true. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. You got to put in work. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to do things that you're that are going to drive you nuts sometimes, but it's all in pursuit of your dreams, of your big goal. So it's worth it, okay? So number 1, you sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do, okay? Um number 2, the tip I have for you is build focus on your dream or goal, okay? It's very important that when you decide whatever your goal is, insert goal here, that you build focus. And how you do that is by identifying your distractions and eliminating them. Um, these distractions can be uh, other responsibilities or uh, tasks that you have to do. Other people, maybe people that are like, oh, you can do that tomorrow. Come on, let's go out and party. You got all your life to do that. You're young. You know, blah, blah, blah. Yes, you want to have fun. Yes, you want to balance your life. But you have to set time aside for your goal or your dream. And not just a little half an hour or this or an hour here, an hour there. You got to set consistent time just for your goal and eliminate distractions, okay? Whether that's your family, friends, um, other responsibilities, set specific time for this goal. It is important enough for you to do that. Um, another uh, distraction that it helps you or that deters you from focusing on your goals and dreams is general procrastination. I know if you're anything like me, I suffer from procrastination. Um, but recently, I've took a couple courses and classes that helped me to really get down to what procrastination is. And basically, procrastination is, it occurs when you put things off instead of addressing them right away. So what happens is you put this thing off thinking, oh, it's okay, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, I'll do it in an hour, whatever. 
Well, then if you continue to put it off, it causes dread for the task. And so now you're like, oh, I don't want to do this. And you get further and further away from completing your task or what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. And that just ends up with you having a negative association towards whatever this task is. And then you really never want to do it. So it may not seem that important putting this task off for a little bit of time, but it is. It's all about knowing your mind knowing how it works, and using that knowledge to help you achieve your goals. So be aware of procrastination. And when you have something that you can do right now, do it. Don't avoid it. Don't put it off. Do the task. Do whatever you are going to do. Don't put it off because that's going to lead to procrastination and procrastination only gets worse as time goes by. Okay. I know a lot of people that are stuck in it and you know, even after that, there's another step because after you've dreaded and you haven't done it forever, then it becomes a habit. And now you are habitually procrastinating. So that means that it's even harder. The longer it goes by, the harder it becomes to do these things. And eventually you may give up on your, your whole dream or goal altogether just from one little itty bitty amount of procrastination. Okay. So don't procrastinate. Beware of it and get things done when they're supposed to be done as soon as you can do them, okay? Um, there's a quote that says, focus almost single-mindedly on your goal or dream. Now, this is from a study of habits of successful people. This was a common um, trend among them. They focus almost single mindedly on their goal and dream. That's powerful stuff. Okay. Focus. You have to be dedicated to your dream. So if you are, then start trying to build a little bit of focus today. Okay. So eliminate your distractions, avoid procrastination, set aside, set aside time specifically for your goal and dream every day. And you will definitely start making progress and getting closer and closer to your dreams and your goals. Okay. Um, number three is clearly define your desires. There's nothing worse than having a dream or a goal that is really just broad and you, you, you don't really specifically know what you want. You have to get very clear on what it is you want, because the more clear you are, the better the plan to get there is, okay? The more you know about your goal and what exactly you want, the more likely you're going to be to actually achieve it, okay? Uh, this also uh, comes in handy when it comes to visualizing because that's another huge part of achieving your goals is being able to see your goal, being able to feel what it's going to feel like when you achieve it. And if you don't know what it looks like, if you have no idea what specifically your goal is, specifically what you want, then you're not going to be able to visualize it because you don't have a clear picture of what it looks like. So get very clear on what it is you want, okay? Before you do anything, that's what you want to do. You want to get clear on exactly what it is, okay? Um, the last one is very important. Get out of your own way. The majority of the time, it's not something in our outside environment that's stopping us from achieving our goals. It's us. It's what we have inside of us. It's the negative talk that our brain is constantly uh, uh, spitting out. There's this um, concept called lizard brain. And basically, our brain, it doesn't want to change. It wants to stay the same as it is right now, because the way that it's working, we're surviving, we're alive. So as far as our brain is concerned, our lizard brain, we're fine. And whatever we're doing is working. So it's going to do whatever it has to do to stay the same way. It doesn't want to change. It doesn't want to rock the boat because that in essence is, um, dangerous to our survival. It's not, but that's what our brain is thinking. It's thinking, the more I stay right where I'm at, the safer I'm going to be. 
So our brains are already hardwired to stop us from wanting to make changes that are going to better our lives. So what we have to do is get out of our own way, recognize this, and do things to help change that, okay? Um, I do want to talk a little bit about the law of attraction. I will be having videos in the future that get more in-depth with this, um, but basically it's real simple. Like attracts like. So whatever you want, whatever you are trying to achieve, that is what you need to be ready and and be willing to take in, okay? You have to align yourself with your dreams and goals. You have to get yourself to closer to what your goals look like, okay? So for my, uh, for my example, as a life coach, before, you know, I didn't consider myself a life coach. I didn't, I wasn't aligning myself with this dream. I was you know, doing things, I was working, but now I am a life coach, okay? I accepted it. I did all of this, got clear on what I want, started, you know, living the life that a life coach would live. And you know what? It worked. So like attracts like. We attract what we think we deserve in life. So if you think that you don't deserve this big goal or dream, then you're not going to be able to get it, okay? That brings me to limiting beliefs. I know I've said this in a couple of other videos, but basically these limiting beliefs are telling you that you can't have this, you don't deserve this, you are um, low, lower class, you're poor, you know, it, it's, one, it's keeping you it, down in this level, okay? So you have to really believe that you deserve whatever this big dream or goal is and sometimes that even means that maybe you have to dream a little bit bigger sometimes we only set goals that we think we can achieve and that is stopping us from really growing and really being able to get and achieve bigger things so maybe if your goal isn't big enough if you're selling yourself short maybe you have to revise and come up with a whole new goal in general what do you really want what would your dream life look like what do you want the most in life those are the kind of things that you should be aiming for those are the types of goals that you should be setting not you know what you think you you can have okay or what you um uh what your mind is telling you, that little negative voice, what it says you can have, what other people say you are. No. You can achieve big things, okay? So, those are just a couple of uh, tips. I really hope this helps you. Um, your homework for today, if you choose to accept it, is first and foremost, visualize what you want in life. Okay, what do you want the most? What is the most important thing to you? What would you be so, what, if you, you know how someone would feel like if they won the lottery? That's the feeling that you want from your dreams and goals, okay? You want it to feel like you have won the life lottery, okay? That's your homework. Visualize, meditate on it. Really think of what you want and get it down on paper, okay? Um... Just believe you guys can achieve your goals, and you absolutely will. There will be so many more videos coming, so please keep watching. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. Um, please like this video, share this video, um, follow my page, Love Fit Life, on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I really appreciate it, and you will have a lot more videos to come, okay? So you guys, get out there, start living out your dreams, and keep watching, okay? Bye-bye.